Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Uh, I've just launched the game back up, um, because I last played a while ago. This is, you know, several days, weeks later, something like that. Uh, Spyro is still wearing these shades, I didn't put the code in again, so it does actually save that to the file, or possibly to the entire game. I don't know if I went on another file, if they'd still be there. Anyway, that's convenient for me, because otherwise I just have to do the code again every time I start it up, so that's helpful. Anyway, um, so I don't quite remember what still needs doing in this world. Let's have a look around. Uh, we haven't finished all of these. You can see there's some gaps. Uh, but I believe we need the climbing ability, um, to get the rest of that treasure. So for the moment, uh, we're gonna go look for the other levels here that we haven't visited. I believe there was one this way remember what it is, so we'll have to check that and rename the file when I'm done. Because <laughs> I can't remember and I'm just recording it without knowing what's going to be in it at this point. Uh, let me see here. There was a level up here. These textures looking a little uh, pixely up close. Hmm. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we did Horacross already, we did Sunny Beach already, we can't climb up that ladder to get whatever's up there. I think there might be some treasure, which we can't reach. Uh, if we head this way though, there should be another level around here somewhere. Okay, there's Ocean Speedway up there, which is a nice flying work, level. Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Thanks, thanks, Alina. That's your name, right? Alina? I haven't played this game in a while. This is one of hundreds Oh, Alora. Sorry, Alora. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, here we are. Aquaria Towers. I think that's the only level we still need to do in this world, so let's have a quick look. Three, four, five. Yeah, we need six talismans, we have five, so yeah. Aquaria Towers it is. We might visit Ocean Speedway as well, I don't know. Probably, but I'm not going to bother trying to complete it, like, fully, because I'm pretty sure it's another one of those annoying flight levels. And there's no talisman there, so we don't really need to go there, because in this game, the talismans are how you get completion. Although you do need treasure in order to buy extra moves every now and then, that kind of thing. Anyway, Aquaria Towers, here we come. I said Aquaria Towers, here we come. Okay, okay, um... Are they bullying that seahorse? That's horrible! The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water! We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Well, I'll help you. I'm a dragon. My name is Spyro. Spyro the dragon. It's the gay who loves adventure. Ah! Are you fireproof? No, you look kind of fireproof, but you're not. What does this button do? Oh, well, that's waterfall through. Excellent. Oh, now this area is flooded. I see what we're doing. I see what we're doing here. We're doing one of these levels. Alright, uh, so we want to charge so we can swim. Over here, there we go. I've got the water back. You happy now, Ripple? Can I talk to you? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I've never played this level before, so this is new. Uh, 14? Nowhere near. Killed three enemies so far. Is there anything else down here under the water that we can do, or is that it? Oh, I can probably go down this way, right? Yeah, jammies, jammies. Hmm, yeah, the water controls, they're not fantastic. They're not terrible, but, like, I've played games with much worse swimming controls, but these ones... Ah, uh, not great. Ah! Help me, Zoe. 
Her name is Zoe, right? I haven't played this game in ages. I can't remember any of the characters' names. It's really awkward. Uh, they look dangerous. I assume I need to get past them. Ah! Did they just instantly kill you? Good lord. <laughs> okay, I feel like I need to do something else to get rid of them before I go down there. I thought I could start running, but maybe not. I'm not sure how the checkpoints work in this game, since unlike in the other game, there aren't like dragons to free that mark the checkpoints. Oh right, yeah, Zoe. Zoe's the checkpoint, that's right. I just haven't I just haven't played this in ages, so I'm not remembering all this stuff. Um oh, yeah, fire doesn't work underwater. Oh my god. I kind of expected to like shoot hot water or something. Kind of like in um the next part, not the next part again, the fourth one, Enter the Dragonfly. Uh, where you have different kinds of breath. You have bubble breath and lightning breath and stuff. Um, but that game was apparently pretty bad, so... We're not going to play that. Also, it isn't on the Switch, so I couldn't record it anyway. I mean, I probably could. I could probably look around and try to find something for capturing analog video. Uh, then I could record stuff from the Wii and the PlayStation 1, both of which I have. But I don't actually have a copy of Into the Dragonfly, so... Whatever. Uh, anyway, gotta press this to get more water to come through. Water. The capture card I have only has HDMI input, but... I believe if you just get a little adapter that converts, you know, analog video to HDMI then that'll upscale it to a suitable resolution and do it pretty well. That's what I've heard from various videos on the subject anyway. And then I can capture it because it'll be digital. Uh... What am I supposed to do with that? Hmm. I guess I'll come back to that once I've got the power up. From getting killing 14 enemies and see if that helps me with that. I don't know what it is. It, it might be like super breath or something, but I don't know if that works underwater. Maybe it's something else. Hmm, you can just press the B button to just swim slowly like this, which is a little helpful. Uh, it's not super much better. That was a really terrible way of phrasing things, but I, I think you know what I mean. It's not significantly better, is probably what I meant to say. It's down there. I think there's more sharks. I think. It's kind of hard to see. Apparently there aren't. Alright, well I guess that's good. Ah! How does that work underwater? Doesn't the water conduct electricity in different directions and stuff? I keep forgetting I can't use flame underwater. Because I expect to be able to shoot out like a jet of hot water or something. Because it's, it's the, you know, the underwater equivalent, I guess. Or, you know, just fire. Because it's really hot and it'll like, pierce through the water. With it's, it's extreme hotness. Hey, money bags! Do I have to pay you something? You must be tougher than you look to get it's here. capitalism. You won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. 100 gems, yeah, all right. doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. Thanks, money bags. Well, I have a submarine now. Uh... I don't know how to control it. I don't know if I can control it. I think it's just moving by itself. Yeah, that was completely automated. Um, and I jumped down here automatically too. I don't know why. I, I guess that's just the way the level's designed. That was really weird. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. I'll just keep grabbing gems, I suppose. 
to make up for having to give all that money to the money bags earlier. Uh, there's six on there. I don't know what that means. Let's so press this button. There we go. How do I fill this room up with water that I'm standing in? Yes, there we go. So I can head back up to where the submarine was because there's some more gems up here that I want to get. There we go. And then I guess I'll go through that hole over there. Don't want to miss anything. Gem, 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 gem. Yeah, the swimming controls could use work. I don't know how I would fix them. The ones in Mario Odyssey are really good, but I don't think they'd fit in this kind of game. Um, because Mario swimming controls are essentially just as though you're playing a 2D Mario game, and it works really well. Thanks, Hoppo. Oh, I guess we're done. I mean, we're gonna keep getting think other stuff, but we got the talisman. It's a pretty good start. We want to get everything else. Uh, let's see. Okay, that thing's active now. What is it? It is super flame. I have to like race over to where the sharks are with the super flame active because that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, here we go. I don't think I need any other power-ups for this room, for some level. Like, I don't need to get climbing or whatever in order to complete it, I think. <sighs> but there is a lot of treasure I need to get using that power-up, which is going to be annoying. Also, a lot of these areas look very similar. Making navigation kind of hard. I got my cool shades. Paco Jello Pudding Pops cool shades. Swim me, swim me, swim me, swim me, swim me, swim me, get all the gems. Can I go in there? Looks like a hole or something? No, it's not. Uh... Where is my dragonfly? Can you not use sparks underwater to like find treasure and stuff? Because that would be a bit of a problem. Might make the level much harder than it's supposed to be. I guess in the original game you couldn't find treasure at all. Like, that's a new feature they added in the remake, but... Still... What are we doing? Yeah, we're nowhere near done. This level is, is expansive and completely underwater. Because we made it completely underwater by opening all those doors. Uh... Hmm... Maybe I can open these big metal doors with the super flame. Let's give it a try. I feel like it might be something we can do. Doesn't look like it. There are the sharks. Okay, so now that I'm here, I can blast away, take them out from safe distance, like so. I think there were more sharks. And I'm about to run out of power. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's more sharks. There's one more shark. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go back and get more. Hmm, this is a little annoying. A little frustrating. back, right? Yeah. I think so? No, I'm the wrong way. Stop me. Thank you. Yeah, this is the right room. I just need to... Yeah, there it is. The, the thing I was looking for. Yeah, this level is annoying to navigate. Um, alright. So we go through the thing. Get where we need to go after that. This way. And down this hole, right? Yeah, that's right. And through here. You have to actually touch the, the treasures because Sparks doesn't appear underwater, so you've got to get real close. It's very frustrating. There we go. I think that's everything. I can see the submarine. Can I jump back out here? Really? Come on, there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, what still needs done? Oh, I did that. No, it. Dang it. Can I skip this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't skip this. Like, give me a chance to look and make sure I didn't miss anything anyway. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. <laughs> okay, so, hmm. I wonder where the rest of everything is, because there is a lot more stuff I'm supposed to be finding. And I can't have Sparks point out its location because we happen to be underwater. That's, I want that's an interesting oversight. I don't think that was an intentional part of the, how this feature works, the treasure locator thing. I feel like it should be working underwater and they just didn't think about that. Like, it doesn't seem like a, an intended restriction, if that makes sense. Uh, I talk to you now, do you have like a... Oh, there's Sparks, hang on. Okay, did, did, I, did I actually lose sparks? Is that what happened? Like I got hit too many times? Yeah, that's a green sparks. Okay, so that's what was going on. I meant to go that way, according to sparks. Oh, hello, there's like a hole in the ceiling. It's out there. Oh, we can go out into the ocean. Okay. Okay, this is where the level really begins. <laughs> Okay, so the annoying stuff with Sparks is because I didn't actually have Sparks because I got in the hit too many times by something or other. Uh, it's not because the game like doesn't let you have Sparks in the water. I should have known that because I already knew that Sparks appears in a bubble like this. Uh, but I, I got confused. Are there gems in this thing, or is it like an illusion and I'm looking at something else? It's like red, which is the colour of some gems, so... I probably should get some more sheepies. If I can manage. There we go. Just so Sparks is a little stronger. There we go, gold Sparks, that's what I'm talking about. Did I skip blue? Went straight to gold? Uh, I think maybe? Hello, big fish. Hello, big fish. I'm trying to talk to you. Hello. It's not letting me talk. Hmm. I'll come back to you in a little bit.
Okay, so the tops of the towers are under, still underwater, but above the other pit is underwater. I see. Interesting. Grab it. Grab it. There we go. Sparks is strangely reluctant to actually grab the treasure. But being able to fly, you have to get close as well, even though you can't fly. Well, you can, but not in levels, except for flying levels. That is a weird restriction. 400 400, yeah, that's all the treasure. Awesome. Okay, um, let's head over this way. Hello, swimmy friend. Oh, it's Hunter. Hi, Hunter. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Yeah, I am. Let's go. Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. Remember, oh, I wanted to fly through rings. So try not to get him dented or scratched up. Uh, all right. You know he's like a living being in a car, right? Oh, hey, it's one of these. Oh, I love these. I guess I just need to follow that seahorse back there. Um, but my vehicle is like real big. Okay. Did I run out of time? What happened? Maybe I missed one. I can't see a time limit. Okay, that was pretty well easy. Done. Yay, orb! Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him in. Yeah, I'll okay. take the heart, of course. Let's go. This is m m roughly the same as a flight level, but. The controls are a little bit annoying. I mean, they're the same controls, it's just, you know, flight levels are kind of annoying. Mm, let's try again. Uh, you can't, like, slow down or anything, which I think would be useful, because you're kind of fast. And as soon as you miss a single ring, you fail, so... It, it feels a bit Superman 64, to be quite honest. There we go. That's more like it. Incredible! You've Thank got you. Real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> how are you speaking underwater anyway? Like, you know, how are you breathing? <laughs> how am I breathing? Sparks is in a bubble. Obviously, Sparks needs to breathe, but no one else does. Okay, um, so, how are we doing? We've got, uh, nearly everything we need. We just gotta go talk to that other guy over here. And that'll be another 100% level. Hiking Flippy. Oh no! I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. Oh, that's how those doors get open. to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Okay. So we're gonna head into the towers. Good thing they've opened in order. Ah! Got electrocuted by something. Electricity, I guess. I don't know what. I can't see anything that would have electrocuted me. <sighs> Where's door two? I'm gonna look at a sheep first. Just to... Ah, come back, you sheepy! 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 Oh my god. The sheep are wearing snorkeling gear. Look, they have little, little helmets. Hmm, I'm confused. <laughs> uh, let me see. Where is nut town number two? Is it this one? Doesn't look like it. Uh, there's town number two.
Yeah, I don't understand how this works at all. It's very confusing. Alright, well, let's head back down. I think it doesn't, like, activate on the way back down the towers, which is why it didn't do anything before. Uh, just on the way up. I might need to use some careful timing or something, but I don't really know what the timing is. Where is tower number three? Is it this one? We got us like the map showed these. That's tower number two. I already did that. Uh... Is this like no time limit? Is it the one with the circle? Like, is that what that means? No, that's just that's just what the checkpoint is. I think. Hmm. One, two. I have to go back inside to get to the other ones? Because I know there were some numbers down below. I think I need to go back down below, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I, I can do that. This is very confusing. <laughs> um, I think I can do that. Uh, down here, right? Where this thing is? Yeah. That's down number three. Yeah, okay. Come back, sheepy. My friend needs a butterfly, and I know that you're a butterfly cosplaying as a sheep. So, give us your contents. Or you, I guess. <laughs> give us your you. <laughs> oh, get it, because it's a sheep? Get it, your you? Oh! <laughs> oh, the butterfly's also in bubbles. Interesting. Okay, anyway, here's Tower 3. Um, I'm gonna guess it's full of electricity. I can't see any. Set a crab in it, that was much easier. I'm a little confused. Okay, number four, I think it's through here. Is that tower four over there, this one? Maybe? Um, whatever it is, it's still closed, so it's not that one. Uh... <gasps> <laughs> Gotta breathe. Gotta remember to breathe. Uh, okay, so let's head up this way. Here we go, here we go. Uh, is this... Is that a tower with a number on it? I think this one was six. Yeah, so it's not that one. There's three, which we already did. There's four. We didn't do four yet, right? Ah! Oh my god. Yeah, it's a careful timing thing, but it doesn't really show you where the electric fields are going to be. You just have to stop and, like, go slow and stuff, which I don't really do. <laughs> Sheepy. 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 Uh, it's much harder to get these without the ability to breathe fire, and also with three-dimensional movement, because they can go above you or below you. Normally they can't do that, because they can't float. But they can now, so, yeah. Okay, so five, I think it's through here. I think, I think it's over here somewhere. I think it might be this one. Yeah, there it is. Oh no, more electric fields. Yeah, I made it without actually getting hurt this time. That's more like it. Okay. Okay, one more, one more little baby to rescue. Little baby. One more little baby. Uh, I think we just go through where the submarine was, basically. Which is this way. <gasps> we don't actually use it, because there's no more sharks. We just swim for it. Like so. And there's one down to here. There we go. Number six. This should be the hardest one in theory. 
Oh my god, it's got moving thingies. That is... Oh my god! <laughs> I, I think he was supposed to go between them. I didn't figure out what they did. Now we can swim in peace. You're welcome. I that you're collecting orbs. Please, take this one. Yes, please. Okay, so that's this level 100% complete. All orbs collected. 100% level complete, yeah. Uh, hey, sheepy. Hey, additional sheepy. I said, hey, additional sheepy. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to the return home thingy because it should be pretty easy to get to. Just down here. Uh, it's not that. It's, it was a little bit higher up. It was through here, I think. Oh no, there it is. Okay, so that's another level 100% completed. Alright, yeah, it's a cutscene. I destroyed all the mechanical sharks. So they're all gone. I thought they got rid of them. So sad. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick look at Ocean Speedway or whatever. I'm, if it's a flying level like I think it is, I'm not gonna 100% it just now. Uh, but I will take a look and see what it is. And if I hate it, then that's it for this video. Hmm. If it, if it is fun, though, I will actually go ahead and do it. Okay, uh, let me see. Go back this way. Hit the button. There we go. Ocean Speedway. Entering Ocean Speedway. Breathing fire. I have 15,001 treasure. That's really obnoxious. 1501 treasure, sorry. Sorry, not 15,001. That would be excessive. Well, it loads like a regular level, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. Yeah, this looks like a flying thing exactly like in the first game. Uh, I can't say I'm too enthused by that. Um, we'll see how we go, though. Uh, thankfully these are still optional because you don't get a talisman, so you don't actually need to do any of these. Oh god, yeah, it's exactly the same, and I still don't like it. Exactly the same. Gotta get all the rings, arches, boats, and cars. Go to all in one go. Okay, I'll give it one more try, and then I'm gonna call it for now. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. It does that. I forgot. But that's what happens when you retry. Okay. Maybe you can touch the water in this and not die. No. Dang it. <laughs> they should have fixed that, because you can swim in this game. You should be able to touch the water and not die. <sighs> oh well. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, I think we're up to the boss. So we'll do the boss of Summer Forest and then go to whatever the second world is in this game. I don't know what it is, because I've never gone this far. <laughs> This game I'm not as familiar with as Spyro 1, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, I believe we have to get 
probably, I think we probably get climbing in wherever the second world is, and then we'll have to come back and do some levels here to finish it off. Uh, so we'll do that, you know, once we get the right move. Um. But that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we're going to take a look at the boss of Summer Forest because we have all the talismans we need. Thanks for watching.